What's going on guys? Today we're working on a Lexus um, LX570. We're going to be doing the rear brake pads on this, so stay tuned and we'll get that done. If you don't have an impact, the first thing you're going to do is loosen up the wheels on the ground. But if you do, you can go ahead and lift the vehicle up. So we will lift the vehicle up here on the rear diff. And we'll also put our jack stands there as well. So now we'll just lower it down slowly. First, you're going to take the wheels off. I uh, usually like to take this cap off first. There are some notches. Just like that. If your wheel gets stuck like that, go ahead and put one lug nut on. Don't tighten it all the way, about that. And then we're gonna kick it on the other side. That's it. Now you just take this off by hand. So as you begin, there's these two um, eight millimeter screws right here. So you don't have to take those off, but I'm gonna go, go ahead and do it just so you can see what's up. As you can see, it's just like a little cover. Um, that'll give us access to all this when you put it back and you don't take those off It's kind of hard to maneuver it. So either way, it's a, it's a little easier now. We're gonna take these off um, These are 17 millimeter on that tight by the way and there's a one pin from here you can also just lift it up and then it'll come out like that with the pin attached but I'm just gonna go ahead and take the other pin right out go now we can move the piston out of the way let it hang there or with the bungee cord and then these are your brake pads as you can see these were terribly low now what I'm gonna do is we got new hardware so go ahead and take all the hardware here off in the back I went ahead and paste a drain pan just to get all that crap out of the way I'm gonna spray this down really good use this brush clean it off and then some brake cleaner what we're gonna do now is put these um, clips in just gonna go down like that that side and you do the same thing to the top get your clips in what we're gonna do next is we're gonna push that piston back um, you can get a tool to push it in or a clamp I'm just gonna use these I do not recommend this so and go ahead and spray this You got that just lightly let the air out of this boot do not rip this so get something small just kind of push it to the side let the air out if there's air trapped in there if there's not you're good to go now that you got your uh, brake pads got everything else in we're gonna go ahead and put our wear indicator right here on this inner pad I'm gonna push that in and these are my guide pins or my um, slide pins. I'm just gonna also spray them off really good. The other one, sometimes you might have a lot more buildup right there. You might have to grab a, 
a rougher um, wire brush. Now that you have these cleaned up, go ahead and put some grease on them. Go ahead and grab your caliper. And we're gonna put our pins right through. And then just screw them down. this cover back on. And that's it guys. All right, if this video helped you out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing. We will have more videos. I'm trying to do them as constant as I can. But that's about it. Thanks guys.